Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Torah teacher Ariel, where every week or so, we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture together as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. I'd like to talk to you today about Israel's call to greatness. Deuteronomy chapter 4 contains what I like to call the, quote, Jewish Great Commission, in quote. Here, in verses 1 through 14, Moshe carefully instructs the community to live out the Torah in such a way that the surrounding nations will see and learn about the unique and awesome mercy of the one and only true God. Because of its significance, I want to quote verses 5 through 8 at length. See, I've taught you statutes and rules as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do them in the land that you are entering to take possession of it. Keep them and do them, for that will be your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples who, when they hear all these statutes, will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what great nation is there that has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call upon him? And what great nation is there that has statutes and rules so righteous as all this law that I set before you today? What makes this passage stand out is Israel's position and influence among the surrounding people groups, such a legacy to be the vessels to share the precious word of Hashem with those who have not heard. Doesn't this remind you of the intents and purposes of the Great Commission? In the Tanakh, the Torah emanated from Israel for the entire world to see. In the Apostolic Scriptures, Yeshua's Talmudim actually took the Torah to the world. Indeed, it is the very same good news that is contained within the Torah, the message of the mercy and grace of an all-loving, all-forgiving God who is intimately interested in the well-being of His created subjects, both Jew and non-Jew. 